Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will learn what neurodiversity is, the difference between neurodivergent and neurotypical, conditions that fall under neurodiversity, challenges being neurodivergent, neurodiversity conditions versus neurological disorders, and available resources. After our presentation, please like our presentation and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Neurodiversity is the diversity of human brains and minds, the variation in cognitive functioning in humans. The neurodiversity paradigm is an emergent paradigm in which neurodiversity is understood to be a form of human diversity that is subject to the same social dynamics as other forms of diversity. In the 1990s, sociologist Judy Siener rejected that individuals with autism were disabled. Siener herself, on the spectrum, advocated to show that individuals with autism, their brains just function differently compared to non-autistic individuals. Since then, other learning conditions and disorders have been placed under neurodiversity. The goal of neurodiversity is to destigmatize conditions to prevent discrimination, promote self-advocacy, and to help those who are neurodivergent be able to handle their challenges in education, the workplace, and throughout their lives. Neurodivergent describes the differing in mental or neurological function from what is considered typical or normal. Neurotypical describes individuals of typical developmental, intellectual, and cognitive abilities. Characteristics of neurodivergent individuals in children are lack of babbling or pointing by the age of 12 months, poor eye contact, no smiling or social responses, not responding to their name, fixation on lining up toys or objects that appears more than typical, no single words by the age of 16 months, and no two word phases by the age of two years. Characteristics of neurodivergent individuals in adolescents and adults are low social interaction, inability to initiate or hold a conversation, lack of social play, repetitive language, intense focused interest, usually on an object or subject, and fixation on certain routines or rituals. Some common neurodiverse conditions are ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which is a disorder marked by an ongoing pattern of inattention and or hyperactivity impulsivity that interferes with functioning or development. Autism is a developmental disability that can cause significant social, communication, and behavioral challenges. Dyslexia is a specific learning disability that is neurobiological in origin. It is characterized by difficulties with accurate and or fluent word recognition and by poor spelling and decoding abilities. Dyspraxia is the inability to utilize voluntary motor abilities effectively in all aspects of life, from play to structured skill tasks or motor difficulties caused by perceptual problems, especially visual motor and kinesthetic motor difficulties. Dyscalculia is a learning disability that affects one's ability to understand, learn, and perform math and number-based operations. Dysgraphia is a learning disability that results in impaired handwriting. Impaired handwriting can interfere with learning to spell words in writing and speed of writing text. Tourette syndrome is a disorder that involves repetitive movements or unwanted sounds, also known as tics, that cannot be controlled. When it comes to conditions in neurodivergent patients, finding a good physician to put the right treatment plan together can be challenging and overwhelming. Patients can go years having challenges and not having a proper diagnosis. 
Timed assignments and tests can be very challenging for students with neurodiversity. Students with autism and dyslexia may take longer to read and understand assignments than neurotypical students. People with Tourette syndrome may have difficulty processing what they hear or see. Many have problems with writing, organizing, and paying attention. Despite having challenges, many individuals who are neurodiverse can have a successful career and be an asset to a company. In the article, Neurodiversity as a Competitive Advantage, the author points out that neurodiverse individuals have higher than average abilities, have special skills in pattern recognition, memory, or mathematics. Companies such as Microsoft, Dell Technologies, JP Morgan Chase, and UBS have reformed their HR process to gain access to neurodiverse talent. Do neurological disorders fall under the neurodiversity guidelines? The answer to this question is no. Just because someone has a neurological disorder does not make them neurodiverse. Some neurological disorders can be associated with developmental disorders. A few examples of neurological disorders are Parkinson's disease, which is a progressive nervous system disorder that affects movement. Tremors, slow movement, rigid muscles, impaired posture and balance, loss of automatic movement, speech changes, and writing changes are common symptoms. Multiple sclerosis is a potentially disabling disease of the brain and spinal cord due to the deterioration of the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is attacked by the immune system, resulting in communication problems between the brain and the body. Numbness, weakness, electric shock sensations within certain neck movement, partial or complete loss of vision, prolonged double vision, slurred speech, fatigue, dizziness, and complications with sexual, bowel, and bladder function are common symptoms. Epilepsy is a central nervous system disorder in which brain activity becomes abnormal, causing seizures or periods of unusual behavior, sensations, and sometimes loss of consciousness. Epilepsy can be associated with autism. According to the Autism Society of Inland Empire, around 30% of people with autism develop epilepsy, some in childhood and some in puberty. This is where challenges arise for patients, which is why proper diagnosis is essential to make sure a proper treatment plan is put into place. There are resources available for neurodivergent individuals. The Autism Society of Inland Empire provides basic needs to families battling autism, along with conferences, support, and resources. They work to help those battling autism socialize and provide advocacy services. Dyscalcula.org provides lessons, videos, books, training materials, and other resources to help people battling dyscalcula. Dyspraxia Foundation provides online resources, educational information, and ways to gain support. The International Dyslexia Association provides educational resources, conferences, certification, and advocacy resources. Neurodiversity Hub provides a wide range of resources for understanding neurodiversity, higher education, employment, universities, COVID-19, mental health, and innovation and entrepreneurship resources are available. The Tourette Association of America, the Southern California chapter, provides webinars, regional support, groups, scholarships, and educational materials. In conclusion, neurodiversity is the diversity of human brains and minds, the variation in cognitive functioning in humans. Neurodivergent is differing in mental or neurological function from what is considered typical or normal, whereas neurotypical describes individuals of typical developmental, intellectual, and cognitive abilities. ADHD, autism, 
dyslexia, dyspraxia, dyscalculia, dysgraphia, and Tourette syndrome are conditions that fall under neurodiversity. Neurological disorders do not fall under neurodiversity. However, some people with conditions that fall under neurodiversity can also have neurological disorders. Despite the challenges that neurodiversity conditions can bring, there are resources available to help those battling conditions live a productive life. To learn more about neurodiversity, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos on our channel and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.